Okay. It is... I think we're about live. <clears throat> yeah. Alright. Hey everyone. Uh, it, and my name is Jared. Jared Morgan. I also know as Jared Morgan's Online. I am one half of the Black Hay Pinball Podcast. And the Black Hay Pinball Podcast is... Um, Something that uh, my co-host uh, Chris Freebus and I have been doing now for oh, close to 10 years, I think, ever since Farsight's of Pinball Arcade was out, um, and it's all about commercial digital pinball, and sometimes even real pinball, um, and also sometimes things like snacks and just random conversations about things because, well, you know, it, it's just fun to talk about things sometimes, but absolutely nearly all the time it's all about digital pinball right so um today i am i did this a bit earlier today as well and i'm back in my evening it's currently around seven o'clock here in brisbane australia um where i'm streaming and uh we're going to do a bit of a brand new release on steam of pinball fx um we will be looking at some of the new tables tonight that have been released as part of the Steam release, but also available um, through Epic Game Store, if that's your preferred platform as well. Um, earlier today, I did some of the events, so we might do a little bit of that later on um, in the stream as well. I'm sort of going to be around here until from now until about maybe two hours. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I think we should probably get things underway. So first... We might just duck over into the um, My Tables tab here and have a little look at what's around. Um, the last table I played early today was Sorcerer's Lair, and uh, it was on a five-minute challenge as part of the um, the events that are running over here at the moment. So if you're not familiar with the platform or if you're sort of looking at the store page and um, wondering what's going on, um, you can have a look at the events tab here in app and see there's a number of tables available to play. I've already placed leaderboard scores on some of these. Um, earlier in the day, a um, friend of the show, uh, Wilbur, suggested that um, there was a, a special trophy available for those who actually achieve um, a good result in the uh, Machine Brighter Pinbot Grand Tournament. Uh, so have a look at the leaderboards there. Um, so pretty much if you can get around the, um, the gold or the uh, uh, any of those tiers basically, if you can get any into any of those as a player, um, you we're going to get this really sweet trophy um, that is actually shaped like the machine's head uh, and in the corresponding color for what you um, won. So it's a really nice looking trophy, it'll look great in your trophy wall. Um, so definitely get onto that if you haven't actually started the events. They're really good fun. Um, also, if you're new to the platform and you haven't actually bought these tables yet, or you're not still haven't quite got around to doing it, we're coming over from Epic Games. Um, if they're in the events, they're available free. You don't have to actually own the table to play the table. So it's a really great way to try out these games if you are uh, um, new to the platform and just haven't really got them yet so um a little bit of a hack there for you if you knew all right let's go back to the my tables tab and we'll see what's around so sorcerer's lair has come back again um into uh the pinball effects platform i've also got um fish tales which is down the williams collection here now if you're a little bit new to the thing you can actually go back and use these filters um to uh uh, filter on the tables. So if you want to just see Williams tables, you just go down here, click Williams pinball, and you'll just see those um, tables available. So for today's stream, I've got basically um, all of the tables up the top row and World Cup soccer. So I think we might kick off today with, um, I think probably yeah, Twilight Zone because Twilight Zone is really awesome. Um, probably one of the well, I don't know whether it's a fair call to say it's one of the hardest tables in the collection, but there's certainly a lot of stuff going on in Twilight Zone that if you are new to it, it, it can often seem quite overwhelming um, at times. So 
Um, we might sort of dig around in this and see how far we can get towards Lost in the Zone, which is the wizard mode on the game. So, yeah, we'll see how we go. Alright. You unlock this door with the key of imagination. So at the moment I'm playing with visual effects on, I can, on an Xbox controller, you can turn these off by pressing B, and that will just return it back to the stock um, uh, sort of look and feel, with some um, slight differences. So you'll see that they, uh, that they, Xeno decided to put a, a subtle little mod into the gumball machine uh, by putting the coloured gumballs on the outside, which so many collectors do. Um, themselves when they own a Twilight Zone, so that was really nice little um, nod to the real world table and how people have so heavily customised this table um, out there in the wild, the physical table. Um, but if you um, have a look at the, um, the, the, there's not really a lot else on there in just the basic uh, or the, um, the, the non-visual extras mode. So what we'll do is we'll uh, activate the visual extras because they're really cool you can see that the, the gumball machine is actually glowing um, and you've also got the animated clock which looks a little bit different to the square sort of clock that was there um, not so much for aesthetic reasons but because they had to fit all the electronic components into a square frame but the the new take on the clock it looks really awesome and you've got Robbie the robot there which is a full animated figure um, there's a few other digital effects as well, like you've got the, um, on the slingshots you've got a, uh, the plane, which as you'll see uh, as we play the game it sort of gets zapped by lightning and has sort of some other things going on with it. And uh, there's another little figure to the, the side, on the left hand side too, which I can't quite make out what it is, but um, uh, maybe that'll jump out to us as we start playing. So let's do a bit of the gameplay now. So. We'll just do a nice soft plunge uh, into the skill shot first of all. There we go. Oh, that's nice. Bucked it into the town square, screwed the back there. Uh, if you've ever seen underneath the playfield of one of these games in real life, it's just a sea of underneath under playfield subways and pathways there's so many different Time is a one -way trumps and stuff underneath this playfield it's zone. really ridiculous all right so the aim of this mission is to hit the clock um and you want to try and reverse the clock's direction basically there's madness in town square See if you do a really early flip on that top flipper, you can usually glance the um, target pretty safely and not drain. As with uh, a lot of pinball games, the pros will tell you that any shot that makes you go across the playfield um, are ones to avoid. And as you can see, I just dropped this. That's a really nice little bonus there. Ooh, 46 million. Very nice. Okay. So if you're just describing the chat and um, and uh, you're going, who's this guy? I'm Jared, I'm from the Blackade. Zen has kindly let me um, do some streaming to their Steam homepage. Um, and um, it's a lot of fun doing this. I'm really excited for the opportunity to do it. So thank you Zen for uh, letting all us content creators take over your Steam page. So this is Twilight Zone, it's a new release in uh, Pinball FX, which have recently released on Steam. This is the Steam version that we're playing now. And that was a very quick exit from the power field there. Underestimate the power in the Twilight Zone. All right, so we'll shoot up the right ramp to get, uh, not right, ramp. We'll shoot the right loop to get the gumball. Let's try again. That'll be yellow, that's good. 
right into the dead end. Now lock is lit, it's a little bit inconspicuous stuck under the ramp and action on the back there. It's a little tight shot down. So that'll qualify the first lock, and if you want, you can go and get that lock straight away, he'll get into multiple, you can lock another ball in there. Um, and again, there's a reason why you want to lock two, it might actually increase the jackpot. Yeah, I think it did. The jackpot's a little bit more if you can get the jackpot. Ah, uh, dear, this has happened again. I've lost the ability to plunge. So yeah, if you do a, a short plunge and it doesn't quite make it out of the gate, you're pretty much in jail, and um, you have to kind of start again, unfortunately. Oh, here comes the ball. I've knocked a ball out of the... Yeah, it's really confusing now. So what I did then is I just bumped the table, and it's tickled the balls that were sitting on. Um, and I've really done a number on his head now. This normally wouldn't happen in the game. But this time round is the exception. See if I can just sneak it in. No. So it's still saying at the moment that I've got two balls to play with, which is technically correct. There's one in the shoe lane, which I can now actually access. I just manually plunge that with the A button um, to get that out of the, the trough. And now I'm officially game over. So, um, So that was a nice little warm-up, 138 million. Certainly not a large score. If you have a look at the uh, the main leaderboards, you know, Tarek is dominating up the top with a 1.7 billion score, which, you know, is pretty typical um, for a really good Lost in the Zone score um, uh, in the wild. I have seen some scores on real machines posted around that mark, so Tarek is definitely... Um, doing the needful there to get the score like that. The best I could do was 492, which again, in the wild, um, if you're playing on this in uh, the, uh, like a real arcade or anything like that, still a good result. All right. Let's try again. Powerball. Ooh, the Powerball on the trough. It seems that um, a nice little thing that Zen's decided to do here is randomize the position of the Powerball, which is great because you don't have to, when the ROM state resets every time that you start the game, you don't have to, um, you, you have it in a different position, which keeps it a little bit interesting. Quite nice. Powerball action. You want to deliver the thing ooh, on the bear. You want to deliver it up the right lane there, flashing vibrantly, trying to get you to shoot it up into the gumball loop. Um, so that ball will come out in three balls time, because the ball trough on Twilight Zone is a three ball trough. Unless of course you get an extra ball, so it might be that if I can get an extra ball. Oh man, not going so well so far. Didn't get a flip on that one. House balls. House balls for everyone. Okay. It's alright folks, it only takes one ball. Oh, no way! Okay, that was atrocious. Let's just completely forget that that ever happened and start again. You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Okay. This time, let's see if it stays away from that dreaded left out lane. It's by far the most horrible part of the game. Such a draining out lane. In fact, you'll see another bit of a nude in Twilight Zone trivia, which you may be aware of um, if you're really into pinball, but there was actually a. Uh, 
an early prototype version of this table, uh, where in that pop-up area, between the two red pop bumpers that you see, they actually put a post that obstructed the ball and prevented it from going down. The, uh, the outlane series that was so many players on plane, but it was taken out of the production versions um, because, you know, operators like to take your money, right? And uh, I've got to get into a lot of places but I'm trying to really do badly at Okay. There we go. It's good I get a free ball pal out of that, which I'm very happy about. Just made it. Ah, oh, far out. I'm having no luck at all tonight. See the plane got struck by lightning then, which is one of the episodes in Twilight Zone. Um, pretty cool, they, they, they could have chosen so many things to incorporate into this game. It really is quite extensive the amount of references to Twilight Zone episodes that are in this game. They really try to squeeze in as much as they can. It's quite phenomenal, actually. Alright, so you'll see that I've got a extra ball lit on the bottom of the flippers there, so you get those by shooting these spirals, which is the loops. Uh, so you just got to keep shooting them until they award you the spiral award. is actually up to the um, power field and let the inverter uh, 
outlane kills me every time. Mate. And straight down the middle. Great. This is Twilight Zone. Alright. So that was a poorly executed multi ball. Let's see if we can go for door panels here. That's kind of my goal. I really want to try and get lost in the zone tonight. If I can. So 250 million is the, the replay score. And replays, as Zen has configured it, will give you extra balls. They're really quite crucial. You get the game. You really want to cash those in whenever you can. Whoa, whoa. Oh, that out lane. Jeez. Fucking a free extra ball there, which I will take. Start it. Okay. 
You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Let's give it a good... There we go. I want to avoid that bug that's currently in the game, but I'm pretty sure it won't be in the game for much longer. It's fast light, I'm not fast light. Um, Zen Studios are aware of it. Alright, there's the ball. things like the camera which you would access from that shot I just shot there. Um, you could also um, get you built up for an extra ball as well. So you collect this enough robots you get an extra ball in camera. Yeah, this is what I'm the third tier is. It's been a while since I've got that. So um, you know, you can do some plunge again to get yellow. Uh, and I've still only got one ball uh, locked there, so that was a nice Beyond glancing shot into the ball. Another sweet, sweet 10 million. Oops. That was a lucky save. It didn't actually ooh, just hit the, uh, the Y-form switch there. A little bit wonky, but... Hey, Shimble doesn't always go perfectly. Danger zone. Yeah. Powerball. Okay, Powerball's next in line. Not the silver one, I think. Yeah. So you know that the music has changed now, it's not the regular. Now the ball's going to get way too fast. I just want to try and yeah, alright, okay. Just relight it. Really wants me to do a power field, but I don't have any power field left. Come on, you can do it. I'm gonna try. Last minute. Ah. Failed a bit, Molly. Oh well. Need to play in the pop-ups there. Fire. Yeah, I'm not going to pull the game from that. Get out of there quick. 
Alright, so we're controllable again. Let me take a shot on the slot machine and see if I can get a, um, a Mozart. Picture the future. Gum. The opportunity awaits you. Ooh, dangerous. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to get some good points here. See what happens before we play it. It's super dangerous up there, so it might have if it goes in there, say with E, but I'm not shooting for it. Just wanna get dual panels. Oh, nearly had it. Should be the bonus. Oh! That is a very nice bonus. And if you happen to get a replay when your ball is in the air hole, you can press both flipper buttons and you'll get 5 million points extra free of charge. So that's a nice little tip as well. That's a reasonable ball on the score there. Nice, soft plunger spring in NYZ Studios there, which is very true to life for the, uh, the real pilot range. Beyond this door is a dimension of space. Three times out of it, I quite know what happens after, like, with the bumpers, I think it's just adding, um, just extra scoring, pretty much, to the bumpers. Millions. Again. It's worth millions. Now, do we get a gun ball? I mean, a power ball. Maybe. Oh, here we go. Opportunity to get some points. You deliver the power ball right back to where it needs to go. That's our nice little uh, house square board there. Be nice one to keep in. Too hot to handle. Oh. 
Oh, I shouldn't even kill the thing. What a shame. Okay. So... I'm getting close, folks. Like, really close to boss in the zone here. Doing what I can to not suck and complain. Just trying to focus on getting those slot machines and play the pianos. Um, that's not going to be a very big bonus, but. So, 12 million is 12 million. Power is lit. Just want to get. That was definitely lit. Mashing it up through the. Let's say there's a science where we're getting the power down. Use the main not today, unfortunately. I'm 
gonna play it safe, you folks. I'm not going to shoot the sword shot. I don't want to lose it. Beyond this door is the dimension of Oh, I shoot up there anyhow then. Fish bull. That could come in handy. Oh yes! A nice tidy little door panel there. Oh, safety. Okay. Oh, three targets as well. This could be lucrative. Oh. Uh. Oh, yes. I think I might have just pulled the fire to rewind the Alright, 
Well, that was Lost in the Zone. Hey, I got it. I don't think I did wonderfully in it, though. But... I was just really thrashing around a lot there, but... Two eighty is all right. That will be okay. Yeah, we'll take that. Okay. Back to the beginning again. I might just uh. What are you doing? There shouldn't be. Why are they more balls going up? I shouldn't be having any. on the table still managed to do it very nice all right in the same vein slash era let's do a bit of familiar at arms Twilight Zone. <laughs> the flippers are really. Sorry, the, the plunger swing is really strong in this game. Which it kind of needs to be to get around the. Um, come on, thing. Shoot the ball, you can do it. Oh. Go, man. 
Finklets and bear. Let's go. Thing you had one job, mate. Well played. Oh, this is a good thing. Oh dear. Again. We'll get it eventually, I think. It's going down. Mm. Okay. Let's just try with a little less resource. So. Yes. Skill shot points, you can always fudge it to the saucer, but if you don't want to be bothered with that and have to do the animation, uh, you can just put it into the swamp and you'll get an instant pull off. Now it is all down to the electric share or the vault. I mean, I'm probably not telling you folks anything you don't already know. This is a pretty common table. Um, Okay, that's good. Toxic waste. It's all ours. Mm, Whoa. I don't like how it gets picked up like that. Oh, jeez. Ah. The power is really strong in Zen's implementation of it. It's, it's a little weaker in real life. Um, even with brand new magnets in it, it doesn't grab the ball with quite that much anger. Um, but you know, it certainly makes for an interesting challenge. Look, everyone, we have guests! Alright, so the ball hasn't touched anything here. You can see the zero is still flashing. So as long as the ball hasn't touched any switch, you can pretty much keep punching the ball as much as you want until you get a skill shot or until a switch is triggered. So that's a nice little tip that people often do in tournaments as well. Alright. The Mamushka! Obviously, with the Mamushka, if you can make it happen, the pop up is not where it all points are. Hey! 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 Oh, uh, hey! I'm um, Granny. Get some points. Double Mamushka? No, oh, single. Okay. Next. Next. Why, thank you, Bing! This thing, thank you. Okay. Um, vault swamp or thing. Look, honestly, I want the animation, so I don't have to deal with that animation again. So just put it into the swamp. Yes, I know, it's like 2 million or 3 million points. And if I was serious squirrel about it, squirrel about it, I would go and get those points, but it's not like it. Oh, it's power active. Okay, distract the chair. That's not the chair, Gerald. That is also risky as heck. Go, man. Let's go, Bing! Oh, nice well thing. Well played, Bing. You're really on the ball. 
you done did it. Oh boy. Don't you snatch my ball. Right, come on. Just in the chair. In the chair, please. Ah, ah, ah. Jeez. Oh, just... Okay. Can I just do it from here? No, man. Literally, the ball is too big for that chair to hold this round, this game. Literally can't go in. Ah, uh, here we go. Finally got it. Oh, quiet on the stream tonight. It's about 8 o'clock local time here in the evening in Australia. Uh, if you're watching the stream and you want to say good day, I just uh, open up the chat client, have a bit of a heckle. I do like being heckled. Nicely, of course, but you know, within the terms of the scene, the ULA, obviously. <laughs> yeah, Ooh, there's an extra ball up there if you can Ooh, that's a shot on Jackpot. Yeah! This Jackpot is probably. Let's get back into the. Whoa, that was really fast. Just need to get back into the. Uh... Sometimes, 4 million is literally the, the ball. Well, <laughs> that came out with. Oh, I actually got a long qualified game. Good. Now, tunnel 3 is in the chair. See if I can get the chair. 
And a good old Damn. Okay. Every time. So. Oh man. Uh, that power oh, sucks. Man. <laughs> That's a huge bonus there. Okay. Go, man. before the DMD even showed me Go what the score was going to be. So it's like the ROM state knows exactly what it's going to give. The DMD is just, you know, for the player's benefit. It's already scored you the points even before um, the DMD has um, done what it needs to do. So it's just interesting how the, the ROM state works. There, see what greed just, will you know, get you? Just pinball moves, don't mind me. Look, darling. Oh, cool. Thank you, bounce that. And straight in there. And that's not all. It's pretty much the, the highest thing you can get. Thank you, Bing. Click, click. Mm. Now it's just bolt action only. Only bolt. Um, no, I'm just gonna do it. Bolt! Oh! Okay, power is active obviously because it's multi ball. Nope! There's a bolt! Oh, it's gonna get there. Oh, can I get the last one? Nope. No. No luck on that. It's okay though. Go for another motor.
Okay, well, that was Adam's family. I think we might leave Adam's family right where it is. Uh, oh, look at that. There's a f some fine scores from some other streamers up there at the top. That is a sort of Fury Robo. That is a colossal score, mate. I, as you can see, because my score is not displayed on the leaderboards there, I haven't actually like, put a score up when I've moved over to the scene version of Pinball Effects, so I guess we might as well just do it now. I don't hold your breath for a 22 million score, but hopefully I can get over a couple of million. I'll be happy with that. It's not an easy table this one. Now I'm sure I'm probably doing taking the wrong approach. Because Go for the tunnel. I'm, whoa, okay, that was really fast. Hmm, it's a warm-up game, it's alright. This is fun. We want to drop targets. Oh. No, I'm not going to restart. I'm just going to play it out. Let's see what this last ball's like, hey? Let's see how high we can get with this last ball. Go for the tunnel. Ooh. Oh man, what is going on? No, I'm not even going to contemplate putting that leaderboard score up there. It's not even worth the round trip wait. Let's do this again. Go for the tunnel. Good thing. Just try for it. 
way you do that is to completely avenge your targets. Go for the tunnel. Yes, I am attempting to. Quick light on that tunnel. Look at that. Trust the post. It starts to get progressively harder up there, the drop targets don't reset quite as quickly as they used to, they stay down for longer, or they don't, just, they don't go down at all, so it makes it more and more difficult to get, I just did it. Let's see if I can, um, put that sick ball up there. It's such an odd late shot on that flipper. Resist the urge to flip sometimes on this table and just let the, the center post take care of you. Yeah. Until it doesn't take care of you. It makes you drain terribly. But you know. Oh, okay, something could happen there. What do I shoot? Uh, on the right angle here, that one. Just send that around again.
Man. Whoa. Uh oh. Nah, the face isn't gonna, gonna save me there. there. Okay.
Super Big Wheel. Worry, be happy. 
Okay, you just get it down to that. Okay. That's how you do it. Slip it down. And whoa, that was really lucky. Here they go again. Let's see if we can get it to change again. <laughs> into a human. We need shuttle launch. Come on. Can we 
me see if I can just Okay, I can't afford to do that anymore. Just give me the balls out of the lock. Give me the balls. Alright, thanks. Okay. Oh, come on. Really? something up there, which is wrong. I mean, if I shoot it up there, it's just to make the plane again. I think my only option here is to just avoid. Okay, now you've worked it out. Great. So I get fully penalised for absolutely nothing that is wrong. Frustration of bugs that exist. It's okay. Not a problem, folks. If I've done it once, I can do it again. Hopefully, she behaves herself <laughs> next time around. We need shuttle launch. We do. But first, we need to hit it over to Embot Heats. So let's do that. Strange. 
come to you. Oh, I so love the opportunity to play a, a Bride of Pinball 2.0 <laughs> modification kit sometime on a real machine. It would be an absolute blast. The 2.0 kit's not an officially licensed Williams thing, it's by Dutch Pinball. They initially put it out. It completely changes the game. It, it means it's no longer a left ramp fest. It's like you've got to shoot around the entire playfield to achieve goals. And the left ramp sort of becomes a bit like a wizard, wizard mode. Which, on games like this, is actually, you know, oh, you suck. See if I can get up there and at least get it to go back to eyes. Oh, right, thanks. Back to the mouth. Put the balls in the mouth. You can definitely tell this is a Python Angelo game, hey? Yeah. Who else will get you to load balls into a female character's mouth? It really was a terrible. Great designer. Just so much innuendo in his games. thousand for a plunge if you get it in the 200 slot because it's, it's still extra ball city here so if I get another extra ball I will keep that bonus multiplier until I drain which will be good oops hang on a second my TV was at to turn off don't want that Makes it a little bit hard to uh, play. Uh, let's shoot her up the ramp. Oh, okay, we want to go up there again. Whoa, okay. Let's backhand it up the ramp. Like the other one. I feel strange. You feel like you want to change. And this time not what screw up. Please. So I can get some. <laughs> I want billion. Surely a billion is a fair compensation for little miss little whoopsie we had before in the game. Hi, Logic whoopsie. My god, she's alive! Yes, she is now. Oops. Oh, just having no luck here. I'm turning back. <sighs> the thing is, the machine's great and all, but it's really a one-trick pony. So after you've been fooling around on it for a while, and you've got a few extra balls up your sleeve. It's kind of like, okay, I guess we'll do Metamorphosis again, right? I mean, happy to take the score. 
so I get a decent lead board score, but just, you know, this is the major complaint with the game. Nothing in Zender has done one. They've faithfully implemented it. It's very much like a lot of the ones that I play out location, but, um, yeah, it's just, it's just of the era. There's anyone behind, so I might kind of just lay this out. And, uh... Oh, that's a nice little cradle separation there. Take that. I feel strange. Whoa. Okay. Funny though, it's nearly at the end of two hours that I've been streaming for it. I'm starting to go, okay, I've been concentrating pretty hard for the last two hours. It's pretty. It's like, uh. Alright. Alright, come on, this time we can do it. We do a team. That's not how we do a team. That's one. You can do it. I know you're not gonna screw up. <laughs> ah! I'm losing it. <laughs> More issue boys. Just got it. See how the ball feeds from the pop bumpers down that um, sort of lane. There's a wire gate there. If you ever play a right of pin bot that for whatever reason is missing that gate, it turns it into a pretty brutal game. I can tell you that much. 4.2 million on the skill plunge. Wow. Okay. That's pretty good. I'd like to say that it's almost okay. So one trip to Pinbot for the first phase, two trips to Pinbot for the second phase, and then three trips for the third. Almost. Maybe. Actually, no, two. Third. Oh, still two. Wow. Whoa. Okay. So I believe I can still. Destroy the jackpot here. Ha! Extra ball again. Yeah. Shall 
go for it. We're going to have to go for it, aren't we? Okay, just light it. Yes, you do. Well, it's over the lane. The ball can't miss it. Machine complete and fully operational. <sighs> yeah, it's getting late. Stop yawning. Yes, 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 Alright, so up to 158 million without the, the billion shot in play. That's a pretty good round of pinball. <laughs> Whoa, okay, that went down fast. Shots up the pinball now. He's making it harder and harder, which I mean, it's good. One hundred thousand points. Okay, that's one on. the third time that I've gone up to attempt metamorphosis without doing anything that might be profitable. Yeah, let's just get it changed. Oh my dear. Let it get it changed. Double scores in this mode are nice. Good. Here we go. <laughs> At least I can get a full one now, right? And now I am back to just the points again. So I can get to build it up. Although, as you saw, you get enough extra balls and you get enough pathways off the pinball back down there. You can build it up. And, uh, oh, geez, it's going to be like 15 million shots on the ramp at this stage, eh? Hey? Oh no. <laughs> we need shuttle launch. 
see there, if you try and do shots on the fly, you will brick and die really quickly. Okay, cool. J. Can I spell my name? Okay. Now, the thing about billionaire points and regular points in this game, as far as leaderboards go, is that while the billionaire points are nice and all, the points that you earn regularly will work out your settling position between the billion point brackets, right? So, pardon me, at this point you'll see that, you know, while I've only got one billion visit in that game, because I had 171 million, I'm a fair way up that list. So, don't discount the smaller points, they all matter with this game. Okay, I think, you know what, I think that's enough, enough pinball for tonight. Um, I did fishtails a little earlier, um, so I think I might just leave it at those four, so really pleased with the result on Twilight Zone there. Um, knocked Tarek off the top, um, made a minor improvement with Adam's family, which was nice, a little bit of a bump up the leaderboard there. Um, actually got on the leaderboard with Swords of Fury there, which is good, and uh, managed to get a score up for the machine as well with a decent position. So I reckon that's a pretty good couple of hours streaming, folks. Um, so yeah, I think we will end it there for now. Um, thank you very much if you're watching uh, this live on the Steam page. Um, I know it's really late at night at the moment, so I'm not sure too many people would, but... If you were, really appreciate you coming and checking it out. I'm Jared Morgan. I am part of the Black Aid Pinball Podcast team. Um, we broadcast um, a uh, podcast and um, vlog, I guess you could call it, about digital pinball um, every other week, usually. Our show is usually premiere on um, Sunday morning or Monday, Sunday, yeah, about Sunday morning in the US or um, uh, Monday uh, morning in Australia. Um, so, yeah, love to see you there um, if you're not watching there already. But, um, uh, yeah, come and check us out. Have a listen. We always talk about digital pinball, commercial digital pinball. So it's sort of, you know, what we love. We've been doing it for 10 years. So, um, yeah, we love digital pinball. Um, so until next time. Have a great morning, afternoon, or evening, and we'll see you again soon, folks.